so welcome back and good morning it is bright and early here in vintage story only half past four in the morning so i've been out doing some collecting and uh, now time to show you the last bits of the starting tutorial the beginners tutorial at least how to work the copper and how to set up your farming so i've been g gathering some uh, copper nuggets here two different types but they uh, still serve the same purpose and I was lucky enough to find some black uh, coal at the same time in one of these cracked uh, vessels. This was the ore vessel by the way. So what we're gonna do first is uh, we're gonna do we're gonna set up the uh, melting of the copper ore. Let's see do I have yes I actually have a free space here. So also been doing a little bit of cooking found some uh, chickens and uh, cooked them with some carrots and you can see that there is both protein and vegetable saturation in this meal. So we're going to put you down right over here. Don't need much right now. And we're going to need a crucible. Uh, crucible. So put in the crucible in the fire. And when you look at the copper ore, you will see that the smelting temperature of this is 1084 degrees. That means that firewood or peat, as I collected here, just won't burn hot enough. Peat will burn at 900 degrees C and firewood will do 700, as you can see here. So you need something that goes above to 1000 degrees and lucky for me, I found the charcoal, black, sorry, the black coal, and it goes to 1200. So we'll stack this with the copper ore. And as you can see, this will create 100 units of copper or into ingot at least. Any kind of molding that you do, like these pickaxe molds that I've been doing and the hammer mold, which are these are the two ones that you're going to be need needing in order to actually succeed from uh, working from the Stone Age to the uh, Copper Age. They take 100 units of metal each. If you make ingots, they will also take 100 units each. So when you do smelt here, it is advisable that you go for uh, an even 100, so 100, 200, and all the way up, so you don't end up with like 1325, for instance, because then there's gonna be 25 units left over in the crucible that you are then again have to reheat or pour into some sort of mold. But again, I'm pretty sure you will learn this with time. So we'll put in the coal, and where did I put my torches? Oh, never mind, we've got a torch here. And we'll start this one right up. And as you can see here, it's slowly starting to heat up. And this will uh, melt the metal. They will slowly ch ch change color over time as this heats up. So what I can show you in the meantime is, here in this beginning one, if you have been lucky enough to do a little bit of hunting, you might be hunting some rams or some pigs or maybe even a wolf or two, you will also get uh, some hides, hopefully. You can use these hides uh, later on to make leather, or you can use them right now to start uh, your first step into making a larger inventory space by making new back, back, uh, backpacks. So for this you're going to need some hide and you're going to need some fat. And as you can see here, it's one of the first one. It's the Hunter Backpack. So you need a pelt, it's called. And how to make a pelt is by curing a pelt. Uh, that is, you first make an uh, oiled hide. And you can left click on all of these and it will show you what it is that you need to do. And in this case, it is a lump of fat and it is a raw hide. So we will do that straight away. We have a raw hide, we have a lump of fat, and as you can see, it will turn into a oiled hide. It says that it is currently 1%, 0% uh, cured. So what you need to do is you need to store it in some sort of vessel. And then slowly over time, this will start to cure. It, I believe it uh, takes 48 hours in game time for, uh, for this to, to manage it. As you can see here, oh, the copper ore is actually almost done. Very nice. It's slowly changing colors, as you can see. And there we go. So let's remove the charcoal and let's get the uh, crucible out. And what we need is we need a hammer because I already got the pickaxe and I've uh, already got some nuggets uh, stored away to demonstrate what we need to do. So we pour it into here, leave the crucible behind and then this needs to cool. You cannot just uh, 
yeah, put it, take it out of the mold and start using it. The metal actually needs to cool down first. So while we wait for that, let me throw the charcoal in here. We're done with the, uh, the black coal in here. Uh, we're done with that. You normally, I don't want to say that you are able to find black coal straight off because if you're not lucky, you're going to have to mine out the black coal and that actually requires you to have metal tools. So what you can do instead is you can make charcoal, which is done by this. You dig a hole in the ground and you actually fill it up with uh, firewood, just like this to the top, just like this. And then what you do is you set a fire on top and I have prepared some low fertility soil uh, just for this. And we put it on fire. As you can see, it's, it already says charcoal pit because the uh, firewood is in the ground already. So we'll light it on fire. And yeah, now you have 20 uh, you have 30 seconds to actually cover it. So what we do like this is we add in another piece of dirt right on top. Cannot place this. There is something there already. Okay, in that case, we might have to be a little bit faster now all of a sudden. And there we go. Now we have the charcoal pit burning. Well, that messed up my uh, little nice area here a little bit, but never mind. So we got the metal cooling inside. We got this hide curing for making larger backpacks. And uh, what's left to do now is to demonstrate the farming. So I can see I am out of low fertility soil. I will see if I have some more stacked away. Uh, otherwise, we can probably get some very fast. I will have to go and get some real quick. That was not part of the plan, but never mind. Oh, let's see the other storage vessel in here, actually, if I have it. Nope. So there was some low fertility soil right over here. And there we go. So to do your farming, there are three different types of soil that you can find straight up that you can actually do something about. It's low fertility soil, what we have right here. There is medium fertility soil, and there is terra preta. Terra preta is the absolute uh, bomb of what you need to be working with. And you can see there are different colors in this. So in order to actually make it ready for farmland, you have to uh, build yourself a hole. Uh, and you do this by uh, napping the flint like we usually do. And then you pick the hole head instead. And then you have uh, your hole ready and you uh, right click to till as is also said per the instructions. And as you can see now, when you start in the low fertility soil, there are nutrient levels and there are gr um, growth speeds for the different crops. 25% fertility on this one, 60% speed, moisture is 100, which is good. If your farmland actually goes dry, uh, your crops will stop growing. When you get to the medium fertility soil, it is 50% and it's 90% in speed. And the terra preta has 80% uh, nutrient levels and 110% in speed. And as you can see, there are different um, nutrients as well. There is, there's N, P and K. So what you need to do is you need to uh, watch the different types of seeds that you want to put in. For instance, you want to put in rye. Rye uh, is, uh, requires nutrient uh, N and it will uh, consume 40% 40, um, 40 of the current levels. Different growth uh, d times and so on. Flax is a little bit different. It will consume a little bit more and it will consume K. So what you do is you take one of these and you place them down in your in the preferred soil. I will demonstrate here with the medium fertility and with the terra preta. And slowly the nutrients will start to drop away, the moisture will disappear, and the growth stages, uh, as is listed, will start to increase. And at the end of it, it will say mature, and you can harvest whichever crop that you actually put in there. So when you have this, if you're not doing this next to water, you're going to have to either wait for rain or you're going to have to water, it, uh, water the area yourself. So what you can do is you can start up some clay and you can choose a watering can. 
just like any other clay stuff here, you uh, just make sure that you f follow the recipe that is listed, burn it off, and then it uh, becomes ready. A watering can can hold quite a bit of water, can uh, water a large area. Um, and in order to actually make uh, like a line of water in the ground that would uh, moisture the nearby crops, you would have to uh, get to the stage where you can actually build a saw, which comes later. But I will show you here. Just search saw, copper saw. And for that you need to make a saw blade. And it, uh, it is done by actually having copper ingots. If you decide that you want to move your farmland, then you can do you cannot do so. If you try to dig out your farmland, this is what happens. It just disappears. So once it's been made into farmland, it has to stay. Otherwise you're just going to ruin it. So that's basically it for farming. There is however fence once you get to farming, you really, really, really should build a fence around whatever it is that you're trying to grow. Because if you don't, rabbits will come in and eat it. Like seriously, they will undo your crops and they will not leave any seeds for you and you will not get any food and you have to restart everything again. Finding the seeds and moving uh, and so on. The land, the farmland will be intact. Also the uh, charcoal pit, by the way. It will take uh, usually a day, uh, about, about two in-day games before it is actually ready. So let's go and have a look at the copper head mold. It seems to be at 70, um, yeah, 70 degrees, so it should be ready for use. But as you can see here, the leather, oiled leather, 8% cured so far, so it's making progress. I will put these seeds in here. And put away the clay for now medium fertility soil. So we have we now have a hammerhead. There we go. And we need a hammerhead and a stick and we build ourselves a copper hammer. So these two they are the two key ingredients to actually moving on in the copper age into the uh, and working with it because once you get to the point you you've collected the nuggets which is fine you have probably uh, then beneath the nuggets there will usually be a source of copper that you can then mine out as uh, i showed you earlier here there was a copper laying on top and then just beneath here there is actual copper ore native copper ore and you need to have the iron uh, the sorry the copper pickaxe to actually be able to mine this stuff out there you go and now i got 15 nuggets 15 nuggets of uh, medium uh, quality so in, you cannot just put these into a crucible and then smelt them down you, uh, oh, sorry this, this is a chunk you need to milk uh, you may need to make the chunk into uh, nuggets and this is why you need the hammer just like that and we got ourselves 60 copper nuggets now you can take the copper nuggets back to the crucible and you can actually reheat it and you can actually smelt it into copper and then you can uh, make whatever it is that you need to make if it's more pickaxes hammers or whatever it is that you need to actually be working on just like this and we can see if we put it in here it will tell us that this will make 300 units of copper ingots so that is enough for another hammer or for another and another pickaxe and to have leftovers and as always you get the ingots mold from using your clay uh, and you can make one or you can make two at a time each of them will contain 100 ore at some point you are going to need an anvil because you can make axe mold hammer mold hole mold uh, lamella armor mold that this is very very late you don't need this layers early on long blade which is a sword basically pickaxe a prospecting pick and a shovel in order to actually get a saw which was the one we needed which was the one needed for making a bucket which was the one needed for making a little bit of a stream next to your farmland if you don't want to use your watering can all the time you need to make an anvil once you've created the anvil 
you need to have 900 copper units ready. So that is actually a lot of copper that you need to have ready. And when you do get this, then you can make the saw and you can make all these other finer um, metal items that uh, will be required. But this is a, a beginner's tutorial. This should cover uh, what you need in the start to actually get to have some food, how to store your food, how to build a little bit of a cellar, how to work into the Copper Age and how to work the copper to actually get the Copper Age going from the charcoal to finding the copper to melting it down and why the hammer and the pickaxe are the two most important items and of course then to farming to feed yourself and as you can see the moisture level has dropped a little bit so either make it next to water or be ready to have a watering can and then make sure that you get to the copper age so that you can actually build your saw so you can build the water stream in between your farmland areas. And that should be it for the beginner's tutorial in my opinion. I will probably do a more uh, intermediate uh, tutorial later on in uh, another world that I've been playing in for a little while. But uh, for now, enjoy and I hope you had uh, benefits from watching this video. Take care out there.